monsters, elves, and talking blue things. Oh my, it's a JRPG Hexes Force for the Sony PSP. This is published by Atlas and developed by Sting. Known for very intricate and sometimes far out games, although this one is actually pretty straightforward. It's a nice looking game with detailed visuals and good art design. A bit of a dungeon crawler with turn-based combat, lots of upgradable weapons, magic spell-like things, you can fuse items together, you meet lots of different characters, they join your party, leave your party, join your party, and on the whole this is actually a very nice JRPG or Japanese style role-playing adventure game. It may look pretty complicated at first because the game starts throwing up all these all these instructional menus at you with how to how to use the uh, the weapons and the combat and you can get pretty pretty detailed with that stuff but it's actually very very easy to pick this game up and play it. I found it best to ignore all of the instructional stuff and just figure out how to play the game by playing the game because it's a complete cakewalk for about the first 3 hours of gameplay. All of the enemies are complete and utter sissies. Until all of a the sudden, they're not sissies, and you actually have to start really playing the game by concentrating on what you're doing. Upgrading your weapons, making sure your characters are equipped with the items that they need, and that's when the game gets fun. The plot is interesting. When you begin, you can start as, as either a guy or a girl. Choose your main character. You find out at the beginning of the game there's a conflict between men, the elves, and monsters. I will end this! But not all is as it seems. Perhaps you've been on the wrong side. The people who you've trusted for years, your friends, turn out to be a bunch of douchebags. It's time to crawl through some dungeons and slaughter hundreds and thousands of things to find out what has caused such douchebaggery. After seeing all kinds of new fancy gadgets coming out these days and I got a peek at the Nintendo 3DS, it may seem like the Sony PSP is starting to be a bit outdated. But in a way it's not, it's, it's actually the ideal platform for this kind of game. Because the screen is terrific and the controls are good. It has buttons, I don't care for the touch screen on the PDAs and cell phones for role playing games. And most JRPGs allow you to save frequently. Now you can't save whenever you'd like to in Hex's Force. This game has save points. But they're not spread that far apart that you can't easily find one within, say, a half hour. And even if you can't, you can just turn your PSP off and pick it back up later and just continue from where you were. As this is a turn-based combat game with a lot of dungeon crawling, you don't have to focus that hard on the gameplay. So you can play this easily if you're on the bus or in a taxi being driven by a madman on an airplane flying through a hurricane. Some games like God of War and Gran Turismo PSP, you can't do that because you really have to concentrate on your gameplay. But in this one, you've just got to make sure your characters are outfitted and you're, you know, you know which chick with blue hair, green hair, or pink hair you're playing with and what their magic spells are. It's hard for me to say what really makes this game stand out from the multitudes of other RPGs on the PSP, except that in, a, in addition to an interesting story, the combat looks great. And that's good, because the game rewards you for grinding along and upgrading your characters and collecting what they call force points, which you can then use to upgrade your weapons. Because when you upgrade your weapons, you get all kinds of new attacks, which you'll need later in the game when the enemies become far more challenging. Sometimes you want to focus all of, all of your energy on one character, other times you want to wipe them out in a row or a column. Fusing items together gives you the equivalent of health potions and magic regeneration. And even though you can see enemies running around the levels or dungeons, this basically has random encounters. But you don't have to fight everything, sometimes you can just run away from them easily. If you're in a hurry going from point A to point B. But you probably want to fight them to get the experience at force points. I will carve the way forward! Now a word of caution with this game, and this really applies to any RPG style game, save when you can, even if it means backtracking a couple feet. So I just won this big kick-ass battle, there's some dialogue here, but off in the corner of the room there's a treasure chest. I'm like, oh, hey, well there's no monsters, I can easily just collect the treasure from the harmless treasure chest. And then save my game, right? Right. Wrong. No. The treasure chest attacked me. 
That would be like opening your fridge to grab a beer and having the refrigerator eat you and drink your beer. It's a huge slap in the face. One that basically eliminates my faith in harmless treasure chests for all time. Thank you to Sting and Atlas. You may as well have put horns and flamethrowers on teddy bears. In fact, why don't you? That's a great idea. Why don't you do that for the next game? I'm still upset about even thinking about a refrigerator drinking my beer before I could get it. That really makes me mad. I mean, you can always restart a game, but once a beer is gone, it's lost forever. Sorry. Alright, I've, re I've revived my half-lion, half-battle beast person thing. And it just killed it again. Great. Um, okay, well, the, the other two characters are going to teach this stupid, angry, evil treasure chest a lesson in etiquette. The fun is just starting. It's her optimism that makes her special. Yet, amazingly ignorant to the fact she's completely useless against this treasure chest. God damn, that's a hard treasure chest to kill. It's trying to give me the high five of hatred. Hex's Force is a game that, that I've got to admit... I like the more that I play it. It's catchy, it looks great, it's fun, the weapon power-ups are cool, and in general, I think many of you who enjoy this genre will dig Hexus Force for the Sony PSP. I would say download it today from the PlayStation Network, but after, after playing this, I would be afraid the PlayStation Network would eat you. If you can't trust a dungeon treasure chest, what can you trust?